Welcome back. In this video, we are going to build custom collection template in Shopify Dawn theme. So, right click on the templates folder and click on a new file and create a new file collection.custom.json. We, we need to write some JSON here and we need to define the sections. So, sections in the section object we the first section we are going to have for the banner so let's name it banner and in the type we need to define the name of the section so name it custom collection banner and then we need to define settings <coughs> leave the settings empty and then the second section would be product grid in the product grid, we need to define the name of the uh, section custom collection product grid and settings. Leave the settings object empty. So, whatever settings we will save from the customizer, that will be saved in the settings object. So next uh, we need to define the order. So order in the order array banner will come first and then product dash grid will come. You can change the order anytime. So in my case banner will come first then product grid. This is banner, this is product grid. Now I need to create these two files in sections folder so i'll go in the sections folder and <coughs> create these two files liquid and then copy the name of this file as well and go to section folder and create this file as well okay now save that and go to the admin click on products and then click on collections and if you see we have a default collection at the moment but if you reload and you will see custom collection here and you can assign this template to any collection so let's assign this custom collection to the server board and save that Now we need to add some HTML here. So let me copy and paste. This is simple HTML for the banner section. And if you save that, and then we need to copy and paste uh, the product grid. This is all hard coded. So let's try to make it dynamic. If you save that and reload the page, view the page, it's all hard coded everything is just coming from html now let's make it dynamic so let's change the dress collection dot title that would, would be collection title and here we will grab the collection and description collection dot description and we need to grab the image as well which is coming from the background style background image url and here collection dot image filter image url and the width would be 2000 pixel save that and reload the page and now you can see we have the collection image, collection description and collection title. Now let's find out how many products in, the, in this collection. So go to the custom collection product grid and at the top, this is hard coded. We need to add collection dot all underscore products underscore count. Save that and you will see 
we have 19 products in this collection so for if you see we have 19 products in this collection so now let's make the grid dynamic this one so go back to the code again and we are going to look through this 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 product item which is div so let me remove the extra lives and we are going to look through this one so i'll say for for product in collection dot products and let me just put this one inside the loop and for the product URL we are going to say product dot URL for the image we will say product dot featured underscore image and then filter image URL and the width would be 500 pixel and similarly we can grab the hover image and this time we will say product images and we will grab the second image of data ray i will pass one here and then we need to get the title so product dot title and product price would be product dot variants and we are going to grab the first variant dot price and filter sign money money filter we will add the money filter and let's remove this USD so save that and reload the page and as you can see we have the images of all the surfboards and if you hover you will get the second image of each product and you are you can see the price as well so this is how you can make the custom template uh, in of the custom template of collection page now let's assign this to any other collection if you go to the furniture uh, clothes and view that page now we have a different layout of the products and if you assign this uh, to the custom collection and save that and view that again and now you see we have a different design for for this collection And this is how you can make custom template in Shopify Dawn theme.